Hey, praise the Lord. This is Minister Donald Graham here with another installment of the Two Minute Drill. Today I would like to talk to you about three levels of faith. The first of which being obedient faith. The second, unwavering faith. And then the third, radical faith. Now we know that faith in the life of a believer is extremely important. In fact, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 11 and 6 says, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. For they that cometh to God must first believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So the first level of faith is obedient faith. Now this is the faith that the Apostle Paul talks about in Philippians 2 and 8, where he says that Jesus was obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So obedient faith is tied to instructions, specific instructions given to us by God that requires our obedient faith in order for it to come to pass in our lives. Um, we see how uh, Saul in the Old Testament was disobedient when God gave him specific instructions during a battle. And so essentially Saul did part of what God said and then the other part he tried to do what he wanted to do thinking that God would be pleased. And so then the prophet had to come and admonish Saul um, saying that obedience is better than a sacrifice. Now, the second level of faith is unwavering faith. Now, unwavering faith is found throughout the Old Testament, but for the purpose of this discussion, we'll take a look at Genesis 12 and 1. And this is where God tells Abram to leave his kinfolk and his countrymen and to go to the place that God has prepared for him. So essentially, God has made him a promise. Unwavering faith is tied to the promises of God made in your life. And so from the starting point of where God made the promise to the end point where it comes into fruition, there's a series of things that take place that causes us to doubt the promise, to question God, if God's going to bring it to pass, because what's in front of us looks nothing like what was promised to us. But unwavering faith says that I'm going to trust and believe God and see this thing through. And that brings us to the last level of faith, which is radical faith. Now, I love radical faith, and again, it's found throughout the Bible, but for the purpose of this discussion, we're going to take a look at Mark chapter 5, and this is where we find the woman with the issue of blood. She somehow manages to press her way through the crowd. She manages to press her way past the disciples. She crawls on the ground and reaches up and touches the hem of Jesus' garment. That's radical faith. That's the kind of faith that asks the question, how bad do you want it? That's the kind of faith that thinks outside of the box and says, you know what? Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. If I can but touch the hem of his garment, if I can just make it to church tonight, if I can just make it there, if I can just get this prayer through, if I can just make it into Jesus's presence, my whole life will be changed. That's radical faith. So there you have it. All three levels of faith. It is my prayer that throughout the course of your day that you'll think about these three levels of faith and how you're going to incorporate each one into your life. You have obedient faith, which is tied to the specific instructions that God has given you, unwavering faith, which is tied to the promises of God that has been made in your life, and then radical faith, that faith that thinks outside of the box and says that if I could only get to Jesus, I know everything's going to be all right. Well, listen, thank you so much for stopping by to view this message. Listen, do me a favor, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can view all of our videos. And don't forget to visit us at www.promisedestinygroup.com. And as always, be good, be encouraged, and in all things, be blessed. I'll see you next time. I'm so glad I made it. Is there anybody in here have that testimony? I made it through. I made it through. Of the storm.